Hey everybody, this is Jennifer from Rain On Me Soaps. I have not made a video in probably a year. I've been extremely busy. I moved at the beginning of last year and then uh, I work full time so it's just hard to find time for this. And when I do have time, it's like, I just kind of want to create and enjoy the process and not have to worry about talking so much. But, here I am, and I'm making soap. So today I'm going to make a Valentine's Day soap because it is January and I have to get ready for that. So this soap, um, I haven't worked with this blend before, but it's a blend of champagne, grapefruit, grapes, and plums. And then I'm also adding some activated charcoal hearts that I made out of a berry vanilla cold processed soap. So this should be interesting. And I've never worked with these colors either except the titanium dioxide. So let's see what happens. And I have a new stick blender. Because, ooh, this one's powerful. Because my last one, all of a sudden, like, I got done making soap one day. And it was leaking oil from the shaft, like at the top part here. And it kind of seemed like it, it overheated or something, I don't know. But it was a pretty expensive stick blender too. I th it was at KitchenAid, I think. But I was a new soaper, like I was just starting out when I got it, so I didn't know that you don't need to spend all that money. But now I know. So I just got this Hamilton Beach one for like $20. And seems really powerful. So I've also, um, in the last year, I've tweaked my recipe a little bit. I have, instead of the four butter blend, I have the five butters now, which is cocoa butter, shoria butter, kokum butter, and shea butter. <laughs> Sorry, you're just going to have to bear with me because the stick blender is like new and I'm like, oh my god, this is hard to hold. So anyways, yeah. So my recipe, I tweaked it a little bit. Um, I've played around with a lot of different oils, different percentages. Um, super fat, I haven't really changed too much, but I've learned more about lye concentration and the percentages of that. So, I feel really good about my new recipe. It's really, really creamy, really bubbly. It has little bubbles, really big bubbles, like dense bubbles. Um, and it's vegan, cruelty free, palm free. So that is great. So I'm just going to bring this to emulsification. Try not to get too far into a trace. 
because I do not know how this fragrance is going to play. So I think we are good. This is harder to clean too. set up because like I made soap in the same place for like two years so I got really settled in and now this new setup is like in a room and there's no windows and I'm like I feel a little claustrophobic so when I don't have music on and I need to talk it's like I don't know I feel a little closed in but anyways, alright, so what I'm going to do, what did I decide? So I think I'm going to add the fragrance after the color. So I'm going to split this off and this one all white and this new titanium dioxide that I got I really love there's like well knock on wood I haven't had any clumps yet like come out in my soap or specs um, and I don't need one of those little mixer thingies to like mix the clumps out when I'm mixing it with the water. Okay, so the last soap that I made, um, it was a mango soap, and it wasn't supposed to do anything, I think, and it riced on me, and accelerated, and it came out chunky. The rice did not go away. Mmm, it smells so good. This is like a divine scent. Mmm. 
I think it's gonna play good. So anyways, yeah, the mango soap riced on me. And I thought it was going to be like a pretty design and it didn't come out looking too good. It doesn't look horrible, but, you know, it just wasn't what I had planned for. Which happens. It's no big deal. It smells good. This smells so good. So this is the mold and the hearts are going to go on the bottom on the side and they're kind of um, tilted. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Addicted to swirling as I used to be. <laughs> Alright, that's it. And I'm going to spray it. I think it's going to turn out good. I spent like an hour a while my oils and lye were cooling trying to decide what I was going to do. And... I don't know, I went through like a million of these scenarios. So finally I was just like, alright, this is what you're doing. So, stay tuned for the cutting. Bye guys.